As a prolific journalist, writer, and activist, Nat Nakasa made his mark and gained immense respect among his peers. In 1964, he left South Africa on an exit permit to study journalism at Harvard, but died a year later under suspicious circumstances. Now, almost 50 years on, he'll finally be coming home. The South African government is bringing his remains back for reburial in September. The specific details of the ceremony and logistics will be communicated to you closer to the time. I can confirm that Nagasa's remains will be buried in the Hero's Acre in his ancestral land in Chesterville. It's the closure Nakasa's family has longed for, and some of them still have vivid memories of the outspoken young man. When we were growing up, he used to speak English. When you'd speak to him in Zulu, he would interrupt to say, speak English, I'm training you. <laughs> An exhibition in Nat Nakasa's honor has been running in Durban since May. It features both poignant reminders of the man himself and his work that was admired by so many. Visitors will have a chance to catch the exhibition until December at the Old Courthouse Museum. Desen Durban. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com.